Jetero Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells that shit to like-minded scumbags. The Mox finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this sicko attached. Oh, I can force it open. We'll start to go. I'm kind of a tough boy. Yeah, cyberpunk is good fun for sure. Right now, I'm just kind of doing the cyber ninja thing. Thoroughly enjoying that. Cutting people up with my uh, katana. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm being skittish. I think it's just because I know that this place is literally full. Hey, buddy, you good, dude? I'm fast. Oh, I'm fast. I'm fast as fuck. I talk to this guy. Go on, get like the dog you are. Oh, you're all mad now? Why are you still being mad? All right. All right. All right. I see that they want to do it the other way. They had options. They had options. It's on, baby. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> It would really suck if this was your job, was guarding this. There's a person on the map, but I can't see them. Well, there were no 
Jotaro. Fuck, boy. Why did the corpse on the scrap table have chocolate milk? Why did it have chalky milk? But what they don't know, the real name for this thing they call cyberspace is actually... Pandemonium! Pandemonium! What is life without its body? What are the beings of the net if not souls from beyond our plane of existence? I have heard their voices. Let they who yet live never cross You heard their voices? What did they say? They spoke not in the language of mortals, no. They howled, screaming in agony, forever removed from their earthly form. Among them was a woman, her voice of ice, Queen Lilith. She was calm. But it looks like him, doesn't it? Human. Divorce dad. <laughs> you ask. Who opened? Opening up another pack of divorce dad trading cards today. No one's asking. And I answer you. The techno necromancers of Alpha Centauri. This guy's on to something. I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? I'll do better than <laughs> Gary. I want you to be sleeping on that mattress in style. City of. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. It just glitched and said that I used crippled movement because it was used on me earlier. Oh, hi, Misty. Jackie gave you these cards, right? I remember when he asked me to help him pick the right deck. Mm hmm He picked just the thing for me, too. I feel a real connection to this deck. We could lay out a spread for you now, if you like. Sure, I'll take a tarot reading from the witch lady. Yeah. Why the hell not? Focus on the recent... the fool. That would be you. Great. Thanks. The Fool symbolizes the beginning of a journey. You brim with enthusiasm, yet remain unaware of both your capabilities and the threats you face. The Wheel of Fortune. The danger is greater than you think. It will come suddenly, without warning. Conflict is unavoidable. The Reverse Chariot reveals that such danger is tied to your love of risk. Do not aim too high, V. Don't aim too high, V. The Magician. Interesting. You may meet someone fascinating. Someone charismatic. Maybe even someone you'll grow to love? Ooh. It's hard to say. Thanks, Misty. You're great. Oh. How's it like... going with Mama Wells? Pretty good. Maybe too good. Well, how's that? After we said goodbye to Jackie, she invited me over. We talked for a while. Now, not a day goes by when she doesn't call. Ask how it's going. Tells me about herself, Jackie, everything. Sometimes for hours. Sent me a roast the other day. You believe that? Apparently I'm too skinny. She knows I don't eat meat. V, I'm afraid she's trying to, I don't know, adopt me somehow. What's the big deal? I wish somebody would make me a roast. I think Miss Wells is using me to avoid thinking about her son's death. With a new surrogate daughter. Exactly. I don't remember that dialogue. All right, guys, fair warning. Blood talking coming up. Sit. Don't tell me what to fucking do. You do not look so bad. You look like shit. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. 
What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I've been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume McCorpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, Another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. I should have let it go. I should have let him fucking do what he wanted to. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. 
Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. My type of woman. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Fair enough. Oh, shit. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. Yeah, you should look like a crazy person. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Hmm. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Bitchin'. Oh? I can finally see the card. Hey, look. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? You've gone completely whacked when I'm having a mystical moment. 
What's that chick's name? The one with the, the head? chariot. Misty? Eh, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both. Their interpretations of the tarot are really cool. Alrighty. Get you anything? Thanks, Claire. No problem. Just holler if you need anything. Claire, how nice. No. This trouble? The net around me? You wove it. There she you is, boys. I lost everything. Let Through me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean Do up you your own shit. Will? Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Pan Am, baby. Rogue. Wanted to talk. It's okay. Imagine being somebody worthy to even just come up and talk to Rogue. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking Rogue. Just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her. She's got MRI. See right through you. Need your Give service. Got to track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? Huh. Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, t -Buck. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Our Sokka Tower, remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something. Ah, you came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm -hmm. See. Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Cool. Wait until Rogue's ready. 